In today's video, I'm doing some photography in the street, but I think it's more urban photography, not street photography. Or maybe it is street photography, or maybe it's neither. I don't know, you'll have to watch the video and make up your own mind. I hope you'll enjoy it anyway. If you do and you're new here, don't forget to hit subscribe before you go. Hi everyone, thanks for joining me again. I've noticed that over the last couple of months, all of my videos, or nearly all of my videos, have followed a common approach, a common theme. Go out early in the morning, start doing photography when it's still dark, long exposures, and then moving on to some shorter exposures and playing around with different compositions as the sun comes up. And then once the sun's come up, I pack up and go home. And today I really wanted to do something a little bit different and it occurred to me it's been a long time, two or three months, since I just did a walk around town trying to find those little out of the way scenes or you know bits of things or you know little odd compositions. So I thought yeah why not let's do it. I always enjoy doing that kind of thing and uh, I've kind of said it's not street photography it's urban photography now my understanding of street photography is it has to include people and whilst I'm not saying that I won't have people in my images I'm not necessarily planning on having people in my images so we'll have to see so there's over there behind me there's a really interesting kind of characterful old wooden double door and I think there's two maybe even three images there Let's give it a look. First image will be, you know, kind of from back here somewhere. The whole door. Okay, there's a few bits and pieces lying around in the foreground, which may not be ideal. So we'll see how that works out. Then I'm thinking, getting in close and using that sort of looped chain around there with all those sort of textures and patterns around behind it as a close up. And the third one, those numbers up there, again, with all that sort of worn and weathered wood and colours and peeling paint or whatever it is around it. Let's give it a go. quite modern buildings up there and there's a set of staircases that go up from balcony to balcony and obviously where there's like two apartments side by side there's uh, like an X shape telephoto lens probably black and white might look interesting It's actually pretty windy. I've come up to a bit of a higher elevation and it's really windy up here. So I might uh, head back down again, see if it gets a bit calmer. They are forecasting storms for later. I've had a bit of wandering around. 
I did take a couple of kind of grab shots that I didn't bother talking through because honestly I don't think they're going to work but if I get them back on the computer and they look okay I'll show them to you just heading up now to another part of town and we'll see if there's anything up there that grabs me did some photos of these trees on one of my other walk arounds up here but do you know what I think I'm going to do another one because I do like them come up to the tram station Okay, I think I'm going to do one more kind of urban scene. I'm overlooking the park with some of the uh, sort of more modern apartment buildings in the background. We've got a lot of quite moody cloud up in the sky. Uh, and what I'm actually going to do, I think, because the widest angle lens I've got with me is my 28mm, which is 45mm equivalent on a full frame, I'm going to do this as a handheld panorama to fit a bit more of it in and hopefully that will work hopefully should I get far enough back Mark my start point sweep through no exposure problems which looks nice and level Okay, I think that's it for my trip out today doing urban photography, not street photography, or whatever label you want to hang on it. I've taken a number of different images, very, very different styles and feels, and I've got no idea if any of them are gonna be any good, but I guess we'll see when I get them back on the computer, and I guess you all already have seen. I hope you'll join me next week for another in the field video. I'm gonna be out and about somewhere and I'm gonna be trying out a new bit of kit that I've been sent, so it might be of interest. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, likes, shares, and comments, all really appreciated and really helpful. If you've enjoyed this video and you're new here, don't forget to hit subscribe before you go. And as always, I really appreciate you taking the time to watch, so thank you very much. And until the next video, bye.